digital rights management so drm means it is a system and procedures to ensure okay it is going to ensure the holder of the digital rights are clearly identified and receives the stipulated payment for their work so this is a property for me intellectual property for me okay a piece of work or a material developed by me or a book written by me something so using drm you can make sure that the creator of this particular uh, object okay whatever it is intellectual property must get okay the stipulated payment okay you must get the payment for his work so this is assured by the digital rights management okay drm so the system and the procedures may also impose the further restrictions on the use of the digital objects such as inhibiting the printing or prohibiting for further distribution so this is going to stop prohib prohibiting it is going to stop like illegal copies okay either hard copy or soft copy okay so any form of using a particular part of the uh, intellectual property all these things we can stop it by using the digital rights management there is no single drm standard available okay so, uh, no single drm standard or architecture is available so many people they are proposing so many things and they are following different different standards okay there is no common standard available for the drm okay so in drm variety of approaches available there are a lot of approaches available to protect your intellectual properties okay so what are they we are going to discuss then the main objective here what is that means the objective used to provide the mechanism for the complete content management life cycle that means the author is going to create then it will be distributed okay oh, sorry sub subsequent contribution by the other author suppose if somebody others are contributing okay then access distribution and use so this is going to be a proper cycle so somebody is going to create okay if someone wants to participate they can participate in that then we are going to access and then distribute it so this we are going to manage you will understand clearly in the coming slides okay what is this now i'm going to the next one you can see the drm components so there are four different components available the first one is the content provider so content provider is the one who is creating the content okay the person who is creating the content okay for example you take this is a, a book written by myself now i'm going to say it is a intellectual property for me and people should pay for it okay so the first person is a content provider so content provider means the one who holds the digital rights of the content and wants to protect these rights okay example a music record label or a movie or a book okay anything okay so just take myself i am the content provider then the next one what i'm doing means i'm going to give okay my content my content i'm going to give it to my distributor so distributor here okay it is going to be the uh, kdp okay that means amazon kindle direct publishing okay kdp is a distributor so i'm going to submit my books to amazon uh, kindle direct publishing so now he is the distributor he is going to sell okay he is going to sell the product so now protected content i'm going to submit it to the distributor for example we have taken here amazon is the example okay so distributor means provides the distribution channels such as the online shop web retailer okay for example an online distributor receives okay because amazon.com okay they are having the online uh, the website they are having so they are going to sell the books all the books they are going to sell so my distributor is the amazon here okay. now consumers so consumers are the users okay consumers are the users so a user wants to uh, read this book okay he wants to read that book or he wants to see that video so whatever it is so now requiring the license and paying now the consumer is going to pay so to whom is going to pay means there is a clearing house okay there is a clearing house what is the clearing clearing house means they are going to deal with the, all the financial transactions so handles the financial transactions for issuing the digital license to the consumer and pays the royalty fees okay pays the royalty fees to the content provider and the distribution fees for the distributor accordingly so so clearing uh, house clearing house so they are going to be the, doing all the financial transaction for the author okay that means for the creator they are going to pay the royalty fees 
then for the distributor okay distribution pays okay they are going to pay some commission for the distributor also so this is going to be a cycle okay this is a cycle so the content provider is creating the pro content so the distributors are going to sell it okay they are going to display in their websites and they are going to market it so clearing house they are going to deal with all the financial transaction consumer is going to buy the things and is going to pay the things now you can see information flow and money flow so money flow you can see the direction of the money flow from the consumer to the clearance house the money is going from the clearance house to the content provided the royalty fees is going okay then the, from the clearing house okay the payment distribution is going to the distributor so this is how the things are happening in the drm compound okay in the drm cycle now moving on to the next one the drm system architecture so as far as the system architecture we are dividing this into uh, three layers okay the three layers so this is layer 1 okay um, one minute yeah this is layer 1 and this is going to be the layer 2 and this is going to be the layer 3 so the three different layers we are going to have here in the architecture so in the first layer all the entities available so what are the entities means right holders that means the creator service provider there are two different types of service providers we already discussed in the previous one then they are having the consumers okay so there are three different uh, entities it is available in the layer 1 so we know what is the uh, the role of right holders the role of service providers consumers we already discussed in the previous slide then the next one the next layer is going to be the service layers you can see there are three different services available one is the identity management so this identity management it is like uh, checking the uh, what is it credentials so you have to authenticate the right holders you must authenticate the consumers you must authenticate the distributors so identity management it is completely related with authentication then content management so content management means this is like managing the content okay what type of content is received okay this is going to dealing with the uh, that means the real object okay we can say the real property intellectual property will be and 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 here then rights management means giving the rights to the buyers okay if a consumer is buying something means what type of rights you can give okay i'm going to give copyright okay there are four different types available okay right like reproduction there are so many different types public uh, presentation so what types of rights you are giving so this will be managed by the rights management so three different types of services available here the first services is the identity this is completely dealing with the authentication service second one is the content manager management this is completely protecting the intellectual properties the third one is the rights what type of rights we are going to give it to the consumers then in the next one level it is called the system interface so other than this we are having so many other things okay you can see here the delivery option is available so where the product will be delivered to the consumer then billing payments so in the billing payments the consumer is going to pay the billing payments so once the consumer consumer is paying automatically the royalty will be given to the uh, content creator that means the right holders and also for the uh, distributors okay the commission will be paid then authentication and authorization will be done six system encryption all the transaction between this information flow in the previous slide we discussed about that information flow all the information flow should be completely encrypted okay so this is about the uh, drm system architecture